Well, one way or the other, Paul has to set up camp, and you would think that a lot of these river rocks would be perfect for that. Not so. In fact, it's very dangerous to use river rocks as liners for your fire pit. River rocks, you see, are washed over by water all the time, and the water actually penetrates the rock, leaving microscopic amounts of water in the rock. You put that rock in your fire pit, the water expands and the rock explodes potentially in your face. I've seen this happen. Uh, we're not going to be using river rocks to make our fire pit today. All right, a little bit of camp craft. Most people who camp anyway are familiar with the fact that this birch bark, from the white birch tree, is fantastic for starting a fire. It's just filled with oils, lights up right away. My pet peeve in this situation is showing up at a beautiful campground and seeing gorgeous live white birch trees standing tall, looking great, with a strip ripped off right around the entire tree. This is the birch tree you want to gather from, the one that is dead and laying on the ground. 